Hi children, you are welcome to lesson number 2, Hornbill lesson, lesson number 2 or chapter number 2, name of the, the chapter, we are not afraid to die if we can all be together. So this lesson is written by Gordon Cook and Ellen East, Gordon Cook and Ellen East. This lesson is uh, particularly very much uh, motivating or or very much boosting of the, the mind. It actually inspires the, the mind to do some daring activity or act to do something adventurous, do something which is very much challenging, do something very much innovative so that you can discover something, you can innovate something so that by the use of that innovation you can better the life of you along with the, the generations to come. Therefore, from this lesson, uh, so we will learn a lot of lesson. So, how daring people can be, how challenging they can be and how this uh, the sense of togetherness can help in the face of the calamity or danger. So, danger comes to our life without any pre-warning and when danger comes, if everybody fights together, then the danger can be tackled, the danger can be managed, it can be controlled beautifully. So this is the message my dear children. So before starting of the lesson, so it is better that we see what we are going to learn in this lesson. So we will be going in a very systematic manner. So the, this the content of this lesson is the, that, so there is an introduction to the, the lesson, there is introduction to the, the lesson, there is a characterization, there is a nautical terms, nautical terms means many of the, the terms related to the, the naval academies, okay, naval academy, academy. And then we will be discussing the, the summary and we will be discussing the, the main points and we will also discuss the importance of or the justification of the, the title we are not afraid to die if we can all be together. So dear children now first let us see the, the appropriateness of the, the title. So, you will be asked the question, justify the aptness of the title. Aptness means the justness. Justness means what? Accurateness. Accurateness means what? Appropriateness. Appropriateness. That means from the title, we will have to reason or will have to give the reason that the title is very much justified or very much logical, very much pragmatic, very much practical. So now how can we tell that? So first let us uh, see dear children, we are not afraid to die means some people are there. So when you go to the, the lesson, we will see that this uh, we actually consist of how many people there are four family members four family members and there are two crew members these uh, six uh, together are the we here and they're they're telling that they are unafraid they will be unafraid They will not be timid or covert if they are together, if all are together, then they can challenge anything. The challenge may be very greater or huge too. Therefore, so this lesson actually talks about uh, some sort of uh, challenges. Uh, this uh, challenge uh, may be into the, into the face of the, the earth, either into the land or into the water. So, when we are traveling into the, into the land, we are traveling by the, the bus or, or any other, uh, any other transport. So, when we are traveling into the air, then we take the help of the, the 
we are buses but uh, when we are going to the, the sea when we are going to the, the water we take the help of the ship and this particular journey what is that journey called this journey is uh, called the voyage v o y a g e voyage therefore uh, when we when you when we analyze the title will notice uh, that here it talks about some challenge and the challenge is uh, there in the, the water and this uh, happens uh, when they were making the, the sea journey or seafaring when there was voice voice was undertaken by the, the narrator in the, the company of his uh, family member and they face a lot of challenges in the form of the storm gale hurricane tempest and other and then they overcome it and they reach their destination successfully and in this uh, way they discovered the, the sea route and this uh, discovery helped the, the english people english people to achieve many of the, the material gains or economic gains too therefore this uh, title of the, the lesson talks about the benefit of getting together the benefit of keeping ourselves together if you are united then we can achieve anything if we are divided then certainly they will fall therefore it says united we stand divided we fall therefore the title is very much justified it talks about the, the togetherness in the, the face of the, the calamity or the, the danger and just by being together achieving the, the goal or the objective so this the title also title also indicate to what the theme this also indicated the theme or the lesson too then let us proceed my dear children here we go let us continue so this is the picture of gordon cook and ellen east gordon cook and ellen east the writer now we'll go for the introduction of the, the lesson and this introduction will introduce us to the, the lesson and will begin to appreciate and understand the lesson so here we go let's continue the narrator gordon cook so the narrator here is a Gordon Cook. The narrator Gordon Cook, his wife Mary and their chil children Jonathan and Sujani set sail on a ship to imitate the historical around the world was undertaken by James Cook in 1768. So this journey was a historic journey and this journey was undertaken in the year 1768 by James Cook. So you have heard of James Cook journey around the world and here we find one Englishman Gordon Cook and he is the narrator of this lesson. This lesson is a first person narrative and it talks about their own experience and particularly the, the experience in the, in the in the ship when the ship met with lot of distress or calamity therefore the, the narrator wanted to do what narrator wanted to imitate the round the voice that was taken by James Cook in the, the year 1768 is it clear dear children okay then let us proceed the journey began from Plymouth England and headed south to Cape Town South Africa so the start of the, the journey was Plymouth it is in England and it is uh, going towards the south north south east west 
so these are the direction map uh, so they started from england and they are going to the, the south they are going to the, the south they are going to the, the south and going to the south they got south africa they started from plymouth plymouth so this is the start of the, the journey it was expected a journey to australia so they expected that they will be making journey to australia through the, the endless indian ocean and finally return to england so their purpose was their objective was to make a journey through south africa going to australia and again uh, coming back uh, to again coming back uh, to plymouth england and that was the, the objective that was the aim of the voyager aim of the voyager voyager unfortunately on the sea partly wrecked in the, the indian ocean and the, the sailor faced death very close wrecked means what destroyed d e s t r o y e d destroyed unfortunately what happened after the christmas in the month of january so what they happened the ship made with strong gale g a l g a l and due to the strong gale what happened it was partially the, the ship wave occurred the name of the, the ship was wave occur wave occur wave occur and uh, this uh, ship was a uh, beautifully beautifully built after a lot of experiment uh, made and this uh, ship was uh, partially destroyed by the, the indian indian version particularly the storm and the, the gale in the, the indian version the narrative describes the na the near death experience of uh, this of uh, this uh, helpless helpless people their hard work their children's encouraging messages that willingness to die would be their father and mother and hours of endurance and finally reaching amsterdam the tiny island dear children here will notice what will notice the young children also young children when do the face with the danger when do the parents are there then they get a lot of boosting or encouragement and they are unafraid of even the ultimate death too so the wish was a becoming enormous day by day the situation was a becoming alarming day by day as the days rolled by or passed by the time was more distressing therefore therefore they were discussing whether the family members of gordon cook was discussing about the oncoming days then the children were telling or children were inspiring to the parent that we are very much so proud of our father and even if we die we do not have any kind of repentance or regret means will happy to die if we can all be together if we can fight the odds we can fight the odds or challenges of life together with father with mother with sister with all the family members therefore this narrative is a very inspiring or motivating narrative that inspires not only the, the children but also the, the aged the people to undertake the adventurous work and to achieve something that is difficult to achieve therefore let us continue here we go let's continue so another part to hear my dear children you see we are talking about the race of people and we are talking about whom we are talking about the europeans 
So normally the, the Europeans are very much daring and very much adventurous uh, people and because of uh, that adventurous uh, motif and adventurous bent of mind, they are successful in many fronts, in many fields, in many fields of the world, in many fields of the world. Therefore, this lesson also talks about a particular race of the people who are, who are the example to be followed, who are inspiration for other people to be followed. So here we go, let us see. The Europeans, you must admit, are enterprising and adventure loving. These are very qualities enabled them to sail around the world, discover new routes, new lands and ultimately colonize them. A few countries ruled over nearly half of the world. Closeness to sea and then better experience of the, the, of the tempest, storms, made them strong enough to challenge death. So when did they go very close to the, the sea and when they have the better experience of the, the tempest, hurricane, storm, the gale and the other, then that uh, make them physically very tough and physically very challenged, physically very strong so that they can challenge even death too. This lesson recounts the story of a businessman, his wife, two children. For 16 years, the man prepared himself for the round of the world voice, round the world voice or sea journey or that is called seafaring. Seafaring means journey made in the sea. He built a big boat and undertook a risky expedition. Expedition. Expedition means exploration, means some daring act. Ex o le explo explo sorry. Exploration. Exploration. He sailed smoothly up to the tip of the South Africa, but as he moved eastward, he faced gales. Gales means strong wind. Strong wind. Strong wind. He hired two helpers to tackle the world's roughest sea, the Southern Indian Ocean. So, Southern Indian Ocean is a considered to be the roughest and in order to tackle or control, in order to manage that, he hired two people. One was, one was from America and other was a Swiss person, means from Switzerland. He set out in July 1976. On January 2nd, he faced the huge wave and fought for survival against the deadly sea. He was a badly wounded. So was the wave walker. Wave walker is the name of the ship. His boat, which got damaged or wrecked, but he sailed on and on. Means he continued to sail. He finally set his foot on a small island. Isle Amsterdam is the name of the island, and this was the scientific base. His children also were not afraid to die provided they were all together so this is the introduction to the lesson now let us go to the character and after that we will continue with the summary and the main points so here we go let us continue so narrator first uh, let us see the narrator we notice the narrator so the narrator is a 47 years old old businessman and he is the captain of the, the ship captain of the ship oh captain my captain means when he is anchoring the, the ship when he is anchoring the, the ship or when he is the master of the, the ship he should have some special quality like daring quality fighting attitude or fighting drill 
and becoming very much a valiant means totally unafraid and all this uh, quality will notice slowly and gradually when you make the analysis of the lesson that he was he was in doubt he was in doubt with all of the quality that is a mean for the, the captain therefore we call him o oh, captain my captain really you deserved to be the captain of the, the ship and he was the proud father because of the children children both of the children sujani and john means jonathan both of them had all praises for the, the father then again a supportive character is the mary mary is the, the wife of the, the narrator she was a very much supportive and in the face of death also she was supporting the, the captain of the, the ship that is the narrator that is the narrator of the lesson then there is so jonathan jonathan is the, the son son of the, the narrator he was a 6 years old and he was a very much daring he was as daring as the father now there is the, the daughter the daughter is 7 years old daughter of the, the narrator and she she also was very much a motivating and inspiring and inspired the father to make the journey and she was of the opinion that her father was the best father her mother was the best mother in the world then there is a lady vessel is the american crew man hired from cape town so crew man means c r e w this is pronounced as crew not q this this the uh, simple meaning is the sailor those are people who work in the, the ship those are people who work in the navy okay means the naval staff or the member that is called the, the crew so one crew member was larry wizel and he was an american and he was a uh, hired from cape town and another one was a uh, half sailor and he was a swiss crew man means he was a he was a person from switzerland and he was also fired from cape town then let us uh, be familiar with the some of the, the nautical terms so here you go let us continue let us continue so dear children now in this lesson we will come to know about the different components or the different parts of the, the chief will also be familiar with lot of terms related to the adventure in the, the in the sea so the first one is let us uh, go for the first one voice as i have discussed voice is the, the journey made in the, the sea that is a sea journey set sail means starting a sea voyage set sail means starting the journey or the voyage in the sea sea faring means traveling on the, the sea wave walker was a 23 meter long boat 30 ton wooden hull to beauty then let us continue here we move then the other terms you notice there is the crew man men working at the, the ship gals extremely strong winds must a tall pole in the, the ship that supports the, the sail jib is a small sail a triangular stay sail it is called stay sail or a small sail knots is the measurement it is a nautical mile and it is equated or equal to 6080 foot 6080 feet mooring rope rope is rope let us see what is a mooring rope a rope with a with a boat is a fastened with a fixed object with a fixed object a rope a loop of rope hai na usko hum loop bhi bolte hain loop 
loop of the rope like that okay or like this or like this this is the this is the loop and with the, this uh, what we do we fasten fasten the ship with something which is fixed stand is the back end of the ship stand this important stern stern is the hind part h i n d hind mane back part back end of the ship life raft means life boat okay life boat oil skin means the waterproof jacket or covering waterproof jacket j a c k e t jacket crest means top deck means roof of the ship very important deck boom is the bar or long pole boom is the bar or pole then let us continue here you go let us continue hatch is a door hatch is a door in the deck of the, the ship this time my dear children you will have to write and memorize hatch is the door in the deck of the ship means on the, the top of the, the ship there will be a one room there will be a room and in the, the room there will be a door and this door is called the, the hatch timbers piece of the, the wood starboard means the right side of the, the ship this is uh, quite important starboard means the right side of the ship overboard means on the ship forestay sail means forestay you will remember the word in this manner for for means the front part okay forestay stay stay sail is sail therefore the front big sail of the of the ship that means uh, this is compared to the jeep jeep is the, the smaller one whereas the, the forest sail is a bigger one which is in the, the front and big in size that is uh, in the front of the, the ship then uh, let us see the dinghies small open boat that is called dinghy anchor a heavy metal object dropped over the, the side of the, the ship to keep it keep it under control keep it under control let us continue here you go so anchor is such a such a thing so which is a metallic metallic particularly it is a made of the iron and it is a dropped into the water so that it touches the ground and fix the boat or the ship that is called the anchor bank means the bank means the particular portion where people take rest sleeping berth in the ship canvas rough cloth made a call sos signal for help save our soul signal for help when you are in danger you are giving the made a call in order to invite people or asking people to save the soul reframe means frame of wood reframe means the frame of wood so then let us continue there we go kill is a long piece of wood still along the bottom of the ship which helps it to keep upright so this a kill is the main main piece of the, the wood or it is made of some metal like steel that keeps the help that keeps the ship to keep it upright Reef is one of the ship's car timber. Steering means the mechanism by which one controls the direction of ship. Means steering means driving. Plank means long flat piece of timber. Rigging means ropes that balance the, the mast of the, the ship. Sextant is an instrument, an instrument for measuring angles and distance. So that's why the, the using of the, the sextant. one can measure how far he is 
from a particular or fixed object. Hull is the frame. Offshore means near the shore. Offshore means near the shore. Compass, you know the compass is an instrument with magnetized needle for telling the direction. Compass tells the direction. It has a needle. It is a magnetized and this helps in telling the direction to the people. So let us continue. So uh, my dear children, now your lesson start. This is lesson number 2, chap this uh, page number 13. So all this expression, familiar expression and unfamiliar expression and the special expression related to the, the seafaring or the voices already have been discussed. So I will be reading out the first part from the, the textbook. So let us uh, go and after that we will be going for the, the complete uh, summary. In July 1976, my wife Mary, son Jonathan, six daughter Sujani, seven and I set sail pro, from Plymouth, to England to, to duplicate the round of the world wise made 200 years earlier by Captain James Cook. For the longest time, Mary and I, a 37 year old businessman, had dreamed of sailing in the wake of the famous explorer and for the Past 16 years, we have spent all our leisure time honing our seafaring skills in British waters. So our lesson starts now. We'll be telling it in the form of the, the story. In the in the beginning itself, uh, we see that it is the, the narrator. It is the first person narrative, and the, the narrator here is a 37-year-old businessman, and he is he is uh, now rehearsing, or he had. He had been rehearsing for the long 16 years because he had the hobby. He had the, the hobby means he had the, the yearning. Y e a r n yearning. He had the, the urge. He had u r g urge. Okay. Or this is equal to h o w b y hobby. Okay. He had the hobby. Hobby was adventure. Going to the going to the sea and for that purpose all his family members were adventurous and therefore they wanted to go to the, the sea and for that they were taking preparation so what is that let us see time was it was uh, in july 1976 that the narrator along with his wife mary son jonathan and daughter sujani set sail from plymouth Plymouth, England uh, to sail around uh, the world. The son was uh, just uh, six years old while the, the daughter was uh, seven. Daughter Sujani was only seven years. The narrator was 37 year old businessman. But he dreamed like an explorer. In the manner of the, the explorer, Captain Cook, he wanted to make the round of the world journey and for that purpose he was taking the preparation. He wanted to repeat the Performance of Captain James Cook met 200 years ago or earlier. For 16 years, he has been improving the, the seafaring skill in the British waters or British seas. He invested all his saving on, on titling and testing out a boat called Wave Ocar. It was 23 meter long and 30 ton weight with a wooden lower part. So now you are introduced to the, the boat also. The boat is 23 meter long and th 30 ton weight and the lower part, the lower part, the water line of it is made of wood and the kill of it, K -double -E -L, kill is made of, made of the steel means the iron. Then let us continue. Where you go? Let us have, go forward. So very interesting lesson. So before starting my dear children, I remember one particular novel. The novel is The Old Man and the Sea. The Old Man and the Sea. The Old Man and the Sea. Have you heard of? This is written by Ernest 
आर नेस्ट आर नेस्ट हैमिंग वे हैमिंग वे हैमिंग वे सो आर नेस्ट हैमिंग वे जो द राइटर द मेन और सेंट्रल आइडिया सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ इट इज दैट द मैसेज दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉवल गिव्स इज दैट ए मैन मे बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बट ही कैनॉट बी ही कैनॉट बी डिफीटेड how inspiring it is a man a man can be destroyed can be destroyed but not defeated defeated dear children you see so the kind of the, the inspiration the kind of the, the zeal kind of the, the enthusiasm kind of the enthusiasm this a particular line gives means the man is a such a such a person man is such a person that he cannot be challenged by challenged by anybody so he may be destroyed he may be perished he may be destroyed completely but the question of defeating is not there means means he will be winner all is so this line is a very much appropriate here also here also very appropriate so let us see how it is so then let let us continue here we go so the voice started so the voice or the sea journey started so initially we find four people and after that in the captain two other people are taken so let us uh, continue here with the description they had to cover more than their 1 lakh kilometer distance in 3 years in 3 years the first leg of the voyage first leg means first phase of the voyage phase of the voyage up to the cape town south africa passed pleasantly before heading for the, the east the narrator hired two crew men an american named larry wiesel and a swiss named hart jigler for their help he knew that the southern indian ocean was a very rough stormy and dangerous as they left cape town they began to face the strong winds which kept blowing for a few weeks but the gal did not frighten frighten him so much as the size of the wave size of the wave which are were up to 15 meters high almost touching the main mast so suppose i did the ship and this is the mast there is the mast of the ship so what he was afraid of the strong wind the gal gal means the strong wind strong wind he was not afraid of the, the strong wind but what he was afraid of he was afraid of the wave because the wave were very gigantic the wave were so huge so enormous that it was sometime 15 meter high 15 meter 15 meter high and it is almost equal to the mast and therefore it is a very dangerous so that the the ship was at the mercy of the, the wave it was a jumping to the, the jumping to the crest c r e s t crest means the top of the top of the, the wave and again coming down or sailing down or slipping down to the to the to the water level then let us continue what follows on december 25 that the boat was 3.500 km east of cape town in spite of the, the foul weather they celebrated christmas they hoped still that the the weather would change and it did change but for the woods but for the woods here <coughs> this line is uh, quite appropriate 
man proposes man proposes god disposes means whatever whatever you imagine on the on the way of the imagination some impediment some some barrier of course comes so they they had their christmas and it was a december 25 the condition of the, the weather was not good they were hoping that after the celebration of the, the christmas in times of the, the danger or distress the weather condition will change yes of course it changes but not for the, the better yet it changes for the worst therefore let us continue now it is a january 2nd january 2nd so on january 2nd morning the waves rose high they they were sailing slowly the ship rose to the, the top of each wave as they hit it the wind screamed to slow the, the boat down they the dropped the strong the storm jib and put a heavy rope in a loop across the back part of the ship of the boat they equipped themselves with life lines oil skills and life jacket then they waited for the greater danger ahead now dear children this is the disaster management this is the disaster management so how did they manage the disaster so on 2nd january the situation become very much pathetic it becomes very much it becomes a very much deplorable deplorable means it was so sad it was so sad it was it was very much reckless r e c k reckless is the word that is very appropriate because anything may happen reckless a reckless fellow means a fellow very much daring he doesn't think about the consequence the weather condition also was very reckless so what is the what is the type the wave was the rising rising to the, the top and accordingly our ship also went to the, the went to the, the top and again again came came back to the, the former position and in this uh, way in this uh, way it was a uh, making to and fro movement for this region all these uh, two members or the two men they equipped themselves or they prepared themselves for the oncoming danger or the danger that is yet to come because anything may happen the situation may may be worsen or the situation may may be more disappointing therefore let us see the next part very good the first sign of the, the approaching the first sign of the, the approaching disaster came with a evil silence the wind dropped the wind dropped and the, the sky became dark with a defining roar a cloud like thing hit the ship it was in fact a strong and high wave the death seemed quite high. so we are talking about the, the second january so they were pre waiting for the bad thing to do come and what was said there initially what was said there there was silence and the, the silence was ominous means not auspicious means it actually talks about some evil that is going to happen okay some and to what accident that is going to happen did this silence was ominous silence then winter dropped winter dropped and the sky become very dark and then there was a roaring sound and a cloud like thing hit the ship so the first attack was that a cloud like thing hit the ship 
it was in fact a strong and high way. So this is the first attack. The date was very near. The roar increased to thunder. The roaring, the roaring sound, roaring sound or the screaming sound or the shouting sound of the water, water increased and it was just like thunder. The back part or the, the hind part of the, the boat, boat moved up. Hind part went to the, the went to the, the top. An explosion shook the, the platform, and then there is an explosion. So there is a huge sound. A wave broke over the, the ship, and a wave came. It collided or hit hit the hit the hit the ship, and the narrator's head hit against the, the wheel. And the narrator was on the wheel driving, driving the, the driving the ship, and this uh, wave hit the head of the narrator, and it was uh, hitting against the against the wheel. We see he was he was steering or driving. He felt as if he was uh, being swallowed by the wave. Swallowed means eat up, eat up. He felt that his end is very near. He was inside the, the inside the wave. He was already eaten up by the by the waves. But he did not lose the hope and passions. So this is the danger. This is the danger moment or moment of danger. And he never lost his hope and he kept his passions or forbearance. The boat was almost turning over the, the mast or the, the pole lay flat. So the mast, the, the mast of the ship. So this uh, lay, this uh, lay uh, flat means topsy turvy condition. But but the hang on the okay. The narrator, the narrator grabbed the rails. He was a tossed, tossed around the deck like a rag doll, rag doll, putla, made of the torn clothes. His chest bone cracked. The bone on his chest was cracked. His teeth were broken, and his mouth filled with blood. His mouth was filled with blood and teeth, but he hung on to the, the wheel. He was hanging. He was sticking. He was clinging. He was continuously grabbing or holding the wheel on which he was working. Then let us continue what follows. Here we go. Let us continue. There was water all over. It had flown below, but there was no way to examine the, the exact position. Suddenly, the, the Lit over the, the opening on the, the deck was thrown open. So the situation was a very grey, means very dark, very serious. It was a very serious. Then, as a captain, he wanted to judge what was the, the exact position, exact position of the, the ship and all the, the two members. Suddenly, the lid over the opening of the deck was thrown open. The, the door, the door of the deck was thrown open. Mary screamed that the lower part of the ship was full of water. So Mary, the wife of the narrator, she shouted that the lower part of the ship was full of water. She was told to told to to take the wheel. So. She was told by the, the narrator that she will have to stick to stick to the will. The narrator went down to do check on the, the other member. So when the, the narrator went to do check the, the other member, so suddenly he will be he will be meeting the, the other crew members and the the sibling, that is the son and daughter. The two crew member, Larry and Hart, were so madly trying to pump out of the water. So the two crew member were very industrious or very laborious person and they were trying to pump the water out. 
the side board of the, the sheep had bulged inward. Means the right side of the, the board, it bulged or it bent inward. Cloth, chairs, and crockery were floating like toys. So inside the, the inside the sheep, there were cloths, there were charts, and the crockery, they were floating like the, the toys. He moved toward the, the children's cabin and found them safe on the, the upper bed. Upper bed or upper bunk, upper bunk that the children were taking rest. And when he was inspecting them, he found that they were safe on the, the upper bed. But the shoe had bumped on her head. Su or Sujani, the seven year daughter, she had the bump on the head. Means there were the swelling. There was swelling over head. Maybe she hit heart with the something, and because of there was the swelling or the bump on it. Then let us see. The narrator found a hammer, screw, and canvas. He made some repair. To, to stop the, the stop the, the water from entering. So now what the narrator did? The narrator did his utmost care in order to control in order to control the incoming water, incoming water. And for that, what he did? He put the screws. He 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 took the help of the, the screws, hammer, and canvas. And with that, he repaired the repaired the broken part of the, the ship and he put all this canvas in the in the in the broken part of the, the ship and in this way he tried to control the incoming water incoming water into the ship he uh, sprayed the canvas across the open hole some water now flowed toward the site instead instead of below now in this uh, way when this uh, canvas was spread on the broken part or the pole then what happened the the current of the, the water was deflected was deflected means the direction of the water was changed okay then let us move forward here you go let us continue more problems arose so when the hand pumps were, were blocked up with debris. So debris means what? The necessary materials, necessary object when it is floating inside the inside the ship, and many of the, the broken parts, broken parts of the, the ship, they were called the debris. And what they did? They they blocked they blocked what the hand pump. More problem arose when the hand pumps were blocked up with debris. So the debris contributed or helped in blocking the blocking the, the hand pumps. The electric pumps went out of order. The electric pump they did not did not work. It was out of control. The water level rose dangerously. Back on deck, the narrator found that the two spear and pumps also thrown overboard. So he went to the top of the ship, and after going to the top of the ship, he could notice that there were two spear hand pumps, and they were also thrown away from the from the ship, from the top of the ship, or from the deck of the ship. From the roof of the ship. Then he thought of another electric pump in the, the chat room. In the, the chat room, there is a, another electric pump. He was searching for that, and then what was what was the result? He connected it uh, to an outer pipe, and it worked. So when he was uh, searching for the electric pump, when he went to the, the chat room, he found that yes, to his uh, great surprise. He was very happy that it really worked, it worked a miracle and it helped in order to overcome the challenge in the seas. Now let us continue. Here you go. Let us continue. Now 2nd January is over. 
the calamity continues and now we are coming to the 3rd January their journey to the infinite continues and we will see more challenges more adventure waiting for them waiting for all of the crewmen let us see what follows by January 3rd morning the situation was under control the narrator and the other member took a two hours rest in rotation. My dear children, so it is said that if winter comes, if winter comes, can spring be far behind? Can spring be far behind? So this is a kind of rhetorical question. And this is a proverb that means if a bad days come, certainly the good days are awaited. It is going to come very soon. And similar to the case here also, on 2nd January, they, they were facing a lot of travels. And the situation was very green, very dark, very murky. And January 3rd, so there was some sort of respite, some sort of respite, some sort of rest some sort of rescue. So they got some kind of relaxation. So what, what exactly happened? So the situation came little under control and the water level also was, was under manageable level. They had to survive for, for 15 hours since the wave hit. So all the members were very much tired and therefore on the basis of the, the rotation they were taking, taking a rest and they had their breakfast too with whatever they had. But the boat was a badly, badly damaged. It was not likely to take them safely to Australia. Now the condition of the boat was very miserable and so they had the objective of going to Australia via Africa. But the mission may not be successful but they will have to reach ashore so that, so that they are life and life of all the, the crew member at sit. Then let us see what follows. The narrator checked the, the chart and found, found two small island. Island Stardin was a French scientific base. So it is said that God helped those who help themselves. Yes, of course it is uh, true. So they manage themselves, they help, them, help themselves they control the water, they fight the fight the fight the storm, and finally, finally they could see just by using the compass and the and the sextant, they could manage to see that there were two islands very nearby, and this island, as they could see from the map or the atlas, were where Isle Amsterdam, and it was the scientific basis, or it was the base of the, the scientific exploration or experiment that is made by the by the by the French people. Their only hope was now to reach there somehow so that they headed for those islands. They ate some beef and biscuits, the first food in almost two days. So as we have noticed, 3rd January was a was a day of respite or rest for them, little relaxation for them. They got the rest. They also got the food, the food into the form of the biscuit and the beef they have got. And after taking uh, taking this, they also got the, the ray of the hope into the form of the, the two island that was seen through the sextant. That was seen through the sextant. That that is the base of the scientific scientific exploration under the experiment of the French people. Then let us see January 3rd afternoon time. There you go. So dear children, it is the evening time, it is 4 o'clock. So this time was also very ominous time, very dangerous time. They could not predict, it was unpredictable. So they could uh, see that the cloud was becoming huge and it was becoming black in color. So what follows? Let us see. 
at 4 pm black clouds began to build up again the weather remained remained bad throughout the night on january 5th morning the narrator went into comfort the children so in the afternoon also the, the situation was very grim or very dangerous very challenging because of the huge cloud was begin to build up once again indicating some danger yet ahead so it was on january 5th he went to the, the cabin of the, the children in order to give the, the comfort to the, the two children that is john and sujani or sue so his son john asked if they were going to die now my dear children you will have to remember you will have to closely look at this line so it is from here the title of the lesson is extracted so it is in this context the narrator went to the son the son was asking simply asking the father whether as the situation so tells whether they are going to die certainly then he also assured the father the same boy of 6 years old he assured the father that they are totally unafraid to meet the death even even if even if anything may happen only only if they are all together that means they believed in the force of togetherness therefore he added that they were not afraid to die if they stayed together all four of them father and mother brother and sister all the other four that evening mary and the narrator felt that the end was very near but the boat rode out of the storm so that evening also they were very much apprehensive very much fearful that their end is very near they certainly will die in the face of this cloud but what happened the situation was unpredictable and therefore all of them rode out of the storm by the morning january 6 the wind ceased he calculated their position while he was thinking so joined him and give him a self made card so it was january 6 some good news for all the family members and it is a sujan or the su who was a giving the card it is the self made card given to the father just giving him welcome telling him warm words what is that let us see she had to draw the drawn funny figures of of the father and mother to make them laugh to to thank them so this a particular portrait this a portrait this was the portrait of the father and mother father and mother and this was the funny picture funny picture of the parents and what is the motive what is the purpose the purpose was to make them laugh make them laugh make them smile in the face of this danger or calamity he ought to see the island at about 5 pm now as far as the calculation was made they were very much expecting that they are going to going to reach reach the island the scientific base at 5 pm then he went below to get a short nap so the nap means either the sleep sleep or during the, the daytime so finally finally they went for the nap so the nap was over then they were greeted or welcomed with a with a happy smile on the face at about 6 pm jonathan and sue wake him up to give the happy news the happy tidings or happy news what was the happy news as soon as the father got up from or rose up from the sleep then he could he could notice that 
both of the children, Sue and Jonathan, came there in order to give the good news. Good news is that they have reached the island and they were warmly welcomed by all the other 28 inhabitants of that island and the name of the island was I.L. Amsterdam. Then let us continue. Very good. So now, my dear children, the lesson is over. Now we will make the review of the lesson. So we will be making the review in the form of the points so that you can recollect, recapitulate and remember. So here we go. Let us continue. So the journey started in July 1976. The journey began from Plymouth, England. Good weather and cheerful days from England via west coast of Africa. Two sailors joined boys in Cape Town, American Larry Vessel and Swiss Hart Seisler. Half Seisler. So this is the first phase of the, the journey. Journey was very comfortable. They were accompanied by two crewmen. One was American Larry Vessel, another one was Swiss Hart Seisler. Then the danger is avoided. So let us see. And this will be after the Christmas. So here we go. Let us continue. December 24. The Voyager reaches 3500 kilometers east of Cape Town. From the Cape Town, there is 3500 kilometers. The weather was still atrocious. It was, weather condition was. Horrible or miserable? It was horrible. Miserable. After Christmas. Celebrated the Christmas into the ship, way broker. New Year's Day saw no improvement in the weather. On the other, the weather condition changed. It changed for the worse. Let us see January 2nd, most dangerous day. Let us continue. January 2nd. The wave was gigantic in the morning time, sailing with only small storm jeep. Only storm jeep. Otherwise, when the, when the, the main jeep, the main sail will be used, then the, the voice, will be, voice will be accelerated, means, means the speed will be accelerated and then, then the, the, there may be any kind of accident. Ship rises to the, the top of each wave. Endless enormous seas rolling towards the ship. The screaming of the wind and the spray painful to ears. Prepare to face the sea's fury. The storm jeep dropped the heavy mooring rope in a loop across the stern laced. Double last everything went through life raft drill. Let us continue. Only few points are there. Then they attached the lifelines. They were equipping themselves with the lifeline. They were, they were wearing the life jacket and they were waiting for some other challenges to come. So, January 2nd, in the evening time, let us see what follows. Wave has become very gigantic or higher, higher than the sheep, 15 feet, 15 feet higher. It is higher than the mast, main mast of the sheep, too. The wave hit the back of the, the back of the sheep. Now, the name of the back of the sheep was the hind, the hind of the sheep. The wave break the starboard. Starboard was the right side of the boat. The ship was about to sink. Then let us continue. We meet Mary here. Mary is the wife of the narrator. Mary took Mary took the steering wheel because she was very much afraid and it was advised by the narrator to to stick to the, the wheel so that so that she can manage the manage the situation. Larry and her they were pumping the, the water from the, the deck. And immediate action required. Immediate action required. No thinking, no pondering. Only action needed at this moment of crisis. Water level rose threateningly. Pump stopped functioning. Electric pump, pump used, and that worked. Then let us continue. Here we move. All the radio signals blocked. All the radio signal blocked. No communication with base. Sus eyes bumped again. 
so the narrator was giving the, the made a call made a call is the sos call made a call is the sos call means save our soul call means if somebody is in danger then they will be calling calling the, the people in order to rescue them from the, the dangerous situation then it is a january 3 4 5 is there and after that we will be meeting meeting the meeting the scientific base water level almost deep still unable to do the hoist the sail onto the master for fear of the, the ship's possible wreckage or danger wreckage or damage hoisted the, the storm jeep headed to the, the direction of the isle arm student not very certain about it at a mill after 48 hours then comes january 5th january 5th 1977 the weather become worse again jonathan says daddy if we are all dying we are not afraid to die if we are all together more water flowed in so made a caricature caricature means that the portrait showing that the father and mother it is called the caricature the purpose was to make them laugh in the, the in the, the face of the, the travel narrator went to sleep after after predicting that the ships are reaching isle amsterdam and before 6 pm the, the ship reached their destination isle amsterdam so my dear children the review of the, the lesson is also over we will be discussing only one question and then the lesson will be very clear and i suppose you understood the lesson very well only one question one question will be discussing here you go let us continue only one question very short type question short type question carries only 30 to 40 words 30 to 40 words we are not afraid to die who speaks these words and when so this is the reference to the, the context question means you need to go through the, the lesson very minutely you should be very familiar with the with the words pertaining to the navy or pertaining to the, the seafaring or the voyages then you can understand write the answer very simple one let us see the narrator son jonathan six years old made this remark when his father went in to comfort the, the children but daddy he went on we are not afraid of dying if we can all be together you and mommy sue and i therefore this line also indirectly tells about the boosting the moral boosting is given by the, the children to the father my dear children i suppose you understood the lesson very well we'll meet you in the, the next video till then bye bye have a very good day thanks to all